What's good, everybody? Welcome to Talk Rice to Me. I'm Jesse. I'm Jay. I'm Austin. Chris. Chris. What's up, guys? I'm Mo. All right, we got a, a new trio here today. You know, these dudes, funny as hell. So I had to get them onto the, uh, the podcast, get them, you know, seek their opinion on certain topics. Do you remember the first time I met you? It was uh, back in JMU, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so my first impression, which, uh, who, who, were you visiting Eric Sadara? I think so. Or was it Tom? Uh, I think that was Tom who was visiting uh, Eric. Because I, re I remember, like, I saw you back in, like, was that, like, 2011 or 2012? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh. You were the wildest man ever. Like, this <laughs> man, you was, always had your shirt off. Oh, you was going yeah. hell. Dude, nothing has nothing changed. Nothing has changed no. at all. It's, it's changed, man. I, I calm down, man. I'm, I'm more I wholesome mean, now. Uh, later, I don't know. 2011 was host, wholesome mo, but now 2023 is wholesome mo, all right? Well, oh, what, what, wholesome. Was, uh, what was wholesome mo like then? Oh, 20, 2011? Man, yeah. rip shirts, taking shots. Yo, we got videos. Yeah, yeah. video. We got archives. <laughs> Archives. I have a video of Mo dancing <laughs> on a tabletop without a shirt on, and all you hear is Christine, Monde, get the, get down, <laughs> get down. <laughs> was he going like this? Yeah, no. you were going. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I, I think I think somebody was playing some Usher or something. Yeah. You know, Usher oh, always gets me no. in the mood. You know? All you hear uh, is, uh, sorry, honey, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, that was the first time I saw you. Was like, I was like, dude, who is this dude? This man is wild as hell. Everybody all quiet. Everybody like. You know, being like doing their thing, and right, you right. out here like you were doing the whole life. <laughs> oh my god! On the beer pong table, Helicopter. yelling shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You uh, you mentioned um, Usher, so you said Usher gets you going, right? Right, right. I feel like every person has like a certain artist or a certain type of music they listen to. Mm -hmm. That like the moment they just listen to it, it just like clicks inside them. They just get into the mood and they just want to start moving. Right. Is right. Usher for you? Usher is for me, man. What's your favorite Usher song? Uh, you got it bad. You got it bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, what about, what, what about you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Who you listening to? We're going to sing that too many times. Like, so <laughs> <laughs> many videos of that. I feel like you probably made love to that song a couple times. Nice and slow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, I have it on, on my playlist. Hey, you got to. Maybe making playlists. Oh, yeah. everyone, 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 has everyone has one. Everyone has one. Y'all got a baby making playlist? Uh, no, I don't. No <laughs> way. <laughs> I know Austin does. Uh, <laughs> just, 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 I, I, I'm not, you know, I'll be honest. I, I don't do the music when we're, you know, getting intimate. Mm -hmm. Just because, uh, you know, it's just, you know, it's not child's play out here. It's, in the, it's, it's serious. It's game time. I'm over here. Alexa, play baby making music playlist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's smart. Low key. Hey, hey, but like, I feel if you got the playlist right, you can kind of, you can kind of gauge how long? How, how, how long you how, last? How long you last in, right? <laughs> and sometimes true. when the song is playing, right, you can like whisper the lyrics in the girl's ear. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Like, oh, this each song is like three minutes long, so I was like, okay, yeah. I'm on song number three, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, yo, I I'm telling you, songs. <laughs> I'm telling you, the music when you can see the, the lyrics in the girl's ear, especially like when they're good, they're good lyrics. Yeah, it heightens the the mood. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, I'm terrible with lyrics. Like I know a lot of songs. But okay. Like, when I like karaoke, I don't I don't know. I barely know the lyrics, so okay. I can't pull that move because right. then it might just there's gotta be it one, might just be completely off. There's gotta be one song you know all the lyrics to. Oh, there's plenty, but um, you know, for example, like his is Usher. Like that's his go-to guy. Like I'm a big R&B person. Like mm -hmm. I listen to R&B at the gym every time I see you guys. R&B at the gym. Amen. Just the two. Same but, exact uh, way. You know, my guy is uh, Giveon. You know, oh, Giveon's yeah. my guy. So. Oh, you like that Giveon? Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Give you on, man. Give you on is nice, yeah. Oh, that give you on. You got one, so. Chris? I don't, I don't listen to the same music as them, so I don't what, know. What do you listen to? <laughs> I listen to more like EDM stuff than R&B. Right. Yeah. What, well, you listen to Elenium? Crawl! Hey, I, I got a sad playlist ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, who are the top three EDM artists? That's a hard one, man. Um, damn. What do I even pick? I got like a whole list, man. I got a whole playlist. All right, I have a question then. If you're sad, what's the song you're playing? Ooh, that's that's, that's a good one, man. Millennium is definitely up there, though. Okay. Uh, let's see, Porter Robinson probably has some some good ones too. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the best ones, but it's pretty tough. All right, now I'm switching from sad. If you're you just got promoted, you just got a raise, and you're celebrating, what are you playing? Hmm. Man, I'm playing the heavy shit, you know. As soon as, as soon as I get a raise, I'm going in on that. <laughs> okay. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. Jay, who's yours? My, ba my baby making music? No, 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 no. Your go-to that like, you just listen to it and you just like, oh, shit, I'm about to 
It depends. Tear it up out here. It depends. I'm telling you, it depends on the mood. Like if I'm, if it's baby making music, Jesse, you might know this. August Alcina's first album. Mm, temp- uh, was testimony. Testimony. Yeah, he's good. That's a, like that. You deserve. I'll be singing that. You deserve. Yeah, that song. <laughs> if uh, let's see. If I want to get hype, probably it'd be like, I don't know, Travis Scott. If I'm sad, Bryson Tiller. <laughs> Bryson Tiller? Yeah, if I'm sad. Don't. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm sad. I can never hit that one. Right? Yeah, no, I, I, no, either. Either. I can't either. Never man. Like, they're, like, they're like, it's on the offbeat. I'm like, which offbeat, man? There's like 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. What about you, Jesse? You already you know mine. It's Chris Brown. It's Chris Brown. Oh, breezy. Ooh. The yeah, moment, the, it don't matter where we're at, the moment they drop any Chris Brown song, I'm like, oh. Are you talking about anything, like any music they, they, they play, you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone. And whether it's baby making music, whether it's getting turned up, whether it's in the gym, every, Chris Brown, everything, man. I yeah. think Chris Brown's going just because he has, he does so much. Right, right. He does so much. Yeah, Chris Brown just dropped a new song with uh, Sierra. Yeah. Oh, that, you like it? That's how we roll. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it, it, it's very nostalgic. You know, we listened to uh, Chris Brown and Sierra back in t- early 2000 and whatnot. So, you know, mm-hmm. it's pretty nostalgic. But I thought it was going to be, I thought it could be a little better. You know what I mean? Do y'all remember when there was like rumors circulating around when they said that um, <laughs> Sierra say that. had like, had like a... Was it hermaphrodite? Was it hermaphrodite? Yeah, oh my yeah, God, yeah. how did that start, man? Yeah, how did that, that was, start? That I think it was Bow Wow. That was a wild rumor, man. I think it was Bow Wow that started. I don't know. Bow Wow, if you watch it, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought it was Bow Wow. Did Bow Wow and Sierra like date I think or something? So. Yeah. yeah, I think that was they, a rumor. They had a thing back then. Back then, I read it on uh, Zanga. Zanga. Oh, yeah. Zanga. 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 You was on Zanga? I just, I just want to say Bow Wow is proof. That if you short, you just need to have that tall man energy. You good. But he's rich yeah. though. Yeah, he's also rich. It's it's, it's, it's I mean, I don't know, matter. man. He uh he be faking it on social media that he rich sometimes, you know. Did y'all see that video? <laughs> you know what I didn't know? I didn't know majority of rappers were short. Yeah. I didn't know that. Like the baby. I know the, yeah, the baby. Little, little, like yeah. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, uh, yeah. Uh what's his what's his name? Uh the one that's in jail right now. Uh Tory Lanes. Yep. Tory Lanes, uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Who he went to jail? Yeah. yeah, he's 10 years. Yeah. He shot Megan Stallion in the foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And he yeah. said, I didn't do it. I'm going to go to trial to prove I, I didn't do it instead of taking a plea. He literally shot himself in the foot. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, if he took the plea, <laughs> he would not have done 10 years. Yeah. Damn. That's all over the news, man. It's yeah. all over the news. Just, I, just, just doesn't I don't pay attention events. to the news. I don't pay attention to, like, celebrities and stuff like that. It's just I, on TikTok sometimes. They're like, yeah. Tory Lanez did this. That's crazy, man. I have, a, I have a theory behind that. I think it's because when you grow up short, you need to find a way to defend yourself. Yeah. Right. So you're like, well, I'm gonna roast you, so you can't roast me back. I can right. verbally roast you. That's yeah. why. That's why I think it is. It's normally the short kings that uh, are the most feisty. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I mean, hey, it spins them off to you, something. You yeah. may be right. Shout out, shout out short kings. Yeah. Maybe right. Don't wrong being short. Yeah, shout out short kings. <laughs> and then uh, maybe 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 the tall light skinned ones are the ones who are in their fields. You know, like yeah. like Drake, Chris Brown. You're right. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. There you you're go. Right. All right, Mo. Let's get one of your topics. Like 20 topics. Disclosing your body count with your significant, your current significant oh, other. Oh, God <laughs> damn. I don't have a significant other. Yeah, but like, you know, <laughs> back in the day, like, did you, did any of your, like, significant other or ex ask you, like, how yeah. many people have you slept with, mm-hmm. this and that? I feel like we just oh. talked about this, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we, we did. did. We just <laughs> talked about oh, this. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I think I would want to get it out of the way. Like, um, mm-hmm. when we spike towards the beginning of, like, not like in the talking phase, like, right. if, if me and you was dating, right, and you was a girl, right, mm-hmm. the moment we, like, make it, like, start to, like, get it official or get right. to that point, I'd mm-hmm. be like, hey, what's your body count? Mm-hmm. But nah. but I will say it is that has caused issues with me in the past. Yeah. Um, a girl lied to me. I was, That's why, I, when, my, like, when my wife asked me, I was like, don't worry about it. You don't need to know, you know. <laughs> that was all in the past, you know. They, they don't mean nothing to me, but, you know, we I'm here with you, you know. It's all that matters right now, you know. Mm-hmm. So you never told her? Nah. Dang! I feel like I was still so <laughs> telling, you know. I just I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to know her body count. And sh- I mean, okay, okay, that's things? that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. But if you wanted to know, you would have to give it up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that makes sense. I feel you. On we that. all have a past, you know. You never asked for her for hers. No. Nah. Then you're a stronger man than me. Let me ask you this: What would be a deal breaker if a girl told you like her body count or not? I think it's re- it's in respect to their age. Mm. So if, it, if they're like super super <clears throat> young and right. it's like, and I gotta like. <laughs> then it's a no right. but if they're like they're a little bit older and it's like then it's yeah. like okay it's, it just it just truly depends on yeah. the person it depends on their age you yeah. know cause like if a girl's like, like if she's like freshly 18 and she got like 20 bodies in her like 50 or something yeah. like that it's like 
what's a lot to you? Like if you're, if you're, let's say you're talking to a 30 year old, like what's a lot for you? 30? Yeah. Where it's like a deal breaker. <laughs> you put me on the spot, huh? <laughs> I mean, you know, I got it. Yeah. I'm telling, like, if someone said they told you it's 20, would you be okay with that? We'll see. It depends on the age. It's a 30 years old. I mean, I don't know. I haven't gotten there. So I don't, <laughs> I, don't know how to I will say this. I bet it also depends on the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Like does. if you're really feeling the girl and that's yeah, like the yeah, only no. thing you don't like about her, you're probably like, all right, it's straight. Yeah. But if you're like, ah, I'm in, I'm kind of like one foot in, one foot out, you're like, all right, that's the deal breaker. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. It all depends. That. I feel like it all depends. No, I get it. Actually, you know, I know some people who like likes it when they have not a lot of body count, but like a good number of body counts because it makes them more experienced and whatnot. You know, nobody wants somebody who's inexperienced and whatnot in bed. Mm -hmm. Like guys who want a girl with like higher body count? Nah, yeah, like a little bit of higher body count because you're okay. more experienced in bed. Nobody wants to, like a starfish, you know what I mean? That's true. I, I'm just saying, <clears throat> experience in bed does not make you better or worse in bed. I, I get what you're I'm saying. Not, because because no. there's there are girls out there that are very experienced, but they're not the best. And there's some girls who are not, they don't have a very high body count, but they're right. still good. Yes. That's true. There are some girls who don't have a lot of high body count. You're right. But they're really good because they probably had a, was in a long-term relationship for many, mm. many years. So they had a lot of practice. <laughs> and, and, the same, and the same goes That's for true. guys. So some guys probably got really high body counts, but they're terrible. And then some guys probably got really low body counts. And they're like, I don't know, who's like some deviant? I don't know. They're like men. I don't know who the heck. Who is like, they're like Casanova in bed or something <laughs> like that. I try to think of somebody. What, what about you, Austin, Chris? Would you guys ask that question? I mean, I don't really ask. Like, I kind of say, like, have you dated a lot of people? That kind of thing. I wouldn't really like directly be like, what's your body count? You know? <laughs> oh, it's just kind of weird to be like just approaching it like that, you know? Wait, so you you never discussed that? I mean, <laughs> that's we a no. Discussed that before, but like, I mean, not like directly like that. It's like, what's your body count? I mean, like, regardless of the delivery, it was discussed. Yeah, it was discussed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very indifferent about this situation because <laughs> when I was younger, you know, absolutely, like, I, I had to know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was kind of like you. Uh, sometimes I'd be turned off by it, but um, I think as I got older, you know, my past relationships, I don't, I don't care as much anymore because, I mean, we're all, we're all getting older, you know, like, we weren't in that person's life at that time, so we can't really dictate <clears throat> or judge someone for what they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. So I've never asked, you know, my lady, um, I don't care because, you know, I, I, f I feel like it works both ways. Like to your, to your, uh, to what you mentioned, you know, like sometimes it could be a turnoff, but what if it's reversed? Like what if you had like 30 bodies? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, yeah. I just never asked. I don't really, as I get older again, I, I just don't care about it. It's, yeah. it's for me, it's like much more than that. Yeah, it's funny. You're right. We did recently talk about this. Yeah, we did. This, this past weekend, right? We did. We, we did. talked about it for a while. We did. Wait, wait, I have a, I have a question. If for all you guys, and I know you said in the past, you guys have asked about it. Who asked more? You asked the girl, or the girl asked you? I think it's about fifty fifty. It's like 50 50. 50, 50? Honestly, it was mainly yeah. the girl asking me. Mainly the girl asking you? Yeah. Because they know, you know why? Because you be, you be slaying like that, huh? They're like, this man ripping your shirt off. This man ripping yeah. your shirt off every time. How many people has he gotten with that? <laughs> hey, that, hey Mo, exactly you be, you be laying that good wood, huh? That's, that's all they had to ask. <laughs> I, I plead the fifth, right? <laughs> I plead the fifth. You got that thing on him. <laughs> you got that thing. You got that thing on him. I don't have three kids for no reason, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you said that was the head of C. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> you got swimmers man that's why you that's why you you switched the tequila huh oh no nah, man yeah henny will make me another kid <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen anything, <laughs> all right <laughs> Wait, um so crystal uh so z asked me a question too she's like all right is it okay so like since we're all guys here from the girl's perspective if a girl asked me and said and then if i told her my body count and she didn't like that then would i be okay with her saying no i said that's fine just like I have the right to say no to a girl, a girl has the right to, no, yeah, right to say no to me. both ways. Yeah. So that was the end of the discussion. So anyways. I, th I think low key also it is weird because you know how like guys be like, oh, plus or minus, plus like certain amounts or whatever. Girls are the same way because recently I know someone who asked someone their body count. And they were like, yeah, if it was a little bit higher, no, but like it's okay where it's at. So I think it goes both ways. I didn't know because some people say girls don't care as much with guys about their body count. Like guys care more than girls care about. That's true. That's what people say. But even girls have a limit because 
I'm, I'm assuming a girl doesn't want to like be with a guy who's like, well, he slept with literally every single person in this area. Like, I don't want to, it's kind of weird. I got a friend who, um, he, uh, he told me in college, whatever, whenever in his friend group, like anytime he's at a, like a group to get together, he's like literally slept with every girl in the room. Damn. And I'm, he's, he'd be like, <laughs> that feeling is immaculate. I'm like, I'll bet. Like you sit down, you just, he said, I just look around. I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is, I don't know, man. Maybe I don't when know you're about younger, that. yeah. Maybe when you're younger, you feel like you're the man. But uh, yeah, I feel like when you're younger, yeah, you feel like the man. But like, when you're older, it's like, damn. I really yeah, when did we're that? when we're all going out a lot, like I feel like everyone in Nova like dated around like the same group because we're all in the same groups. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and it's weird because there's some groups that they date within the circle and everything. It's sad that nobody has anywhere to go out now except for like Cafe Toa. Yeah, yeah, that's the spot. That's now. the that's like the new block now. All right, everyone, let, let's just let's not travel for a year. We just put all our money together and just get a new spot. <laughs> Wait, you said that you said what happened to the block? Like people don't go there no more. I mean, they do, but it's, I think I guess older crowds now go to tour now. I think younger crowds is more at the block, and the music is way too loud at the block where you can't even hear anybody talking and stuff like that. That's know? true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm just getting old, but uh, I can't. Hold a conversation there without screaming. Yeah, yeah. you no, know no, what no. I mean. Like, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, so. What about what about that one? Oh, sorry. What about that one place, that hookah bar? Why no one go to the hookah bar anymore? Darna. Darna. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Dude, I messed with Darna. It's kind of tight in there. But that, that thing, it's like just like it's like all all like tables and it's like no like room or anything. That's true. That's I don't true. know if you guys remember this. Um, in Centerville, V five people used to go there all the time. Yeah. It's before my time. Oh damn! I used to do uh, <laughs> so back in my day. <laughs> don't age yourself ago, like that. Don't age yourself <laughs> like that. <laughs> so so I went to I went to Mason, and so like every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday would be like a routine. So you would go to uh, Buffalo Wing University after right, class right. I remember that. for happy hour. It'd be a dollar beer, two dollar mm-hmm. shots, right? And then you go to this place called Ultra Beans. Have you, you, you oh, guys heard of Ultra Beans? Ultra Beans, Ultra Beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like what, what Irish. Year is this? What year is this? 2012, 2013. I'm still, I'm still, I, I was still in college. I had one It's got that ramp that goes down as the entrance. Yeah, so yeah, this place, this place was so deadly because you'd walk in, and this was like everybody was there. Like even people that didn't go to Mason. Like it was like obviously like an open bar place. Yeah. You'd go in. People were smoking cigarettes. It's like a basement party. And they, mm-hmm. the DJ would be right in front of you. And he would play like, you know, back then Sean Paul was hot. Oh. So it'd be like a bass. It was like a dance club or mm. not club, but like bar. Mm. And then they would serve like cheap shots because it was like college. So you do that on Thursdays. Friday, you probably go to Arlington, Spider Kelly. Shout out Spider Kelly's. Uh, <laughs> Clarendon Ballroom, you know, all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, Saturday, you'd go to D.C. So like uh, Midtown, Current, Park, mm. like. And then you'd finish the weekend off at uh, A Town Sunday Fun Day. Oh True. my yeah, god! Yeah, I remember A Town only A-Town, one yeah. time, but dang. That's probably why I'm gonna die soon because <laughs> because of that like that ritual for like four years. A Town Sundays. Oh. Yeah, that was that was deadly. That was deadly. Oh yeah. my god! Damn. Was bad, man. Talking about age, right? Everybody here is thirty. And Jay yeah. here is about to turn thirty. Well, in Twenty-nine like, still. Don't, yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, you're about to be in there. like you're about to be a little there. bit over a month. Yeah, he got a couple weeks. I got a couple. No, I, I got like two two months. Yeah, like two months. All right. It's a couple of weeks. I got two months. <laughs> All, right. Got a couple, yeah. All right. So reflecting your 20s, what is one advice you would give to yourself to a 20-year-old version of you or a 20-year-old person in general? Oh, well, that's a good question, man. I got one. Go? I, go? I was actually thinking about this because I was trying to tell myself this. I said, when I've had the most fun when I was in my 20s, a lot of times when when you're like with your boys or you're at a concert and you're at a show and I realize it's because you're like in that moment, you're enjoying every single bit of that moment. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if I was to tell my 20 year old something, I'm like, yo, just enjoy whatever moment you're in, good or bad, just enjoy it. And don't think like, oh, I can't wait till I get to this, whatever, this weekend, whatever it is, don't think like that. Just be like, oh, whatever you're doing, just enjoy it for whatever it is. That's all I would tell them. That's, That's a good one. one. That's, That's a really good, good one. Because the moment. Because I feel like when you're 21, you can't. Or when you're 18, you can't wait till you're 21. Then when you're 21, you can't wait till you're something else. Oh, I can't wait till I can make more money. I can't wait till I get to this point. And you're just always thinking about. I can't wait till I get to this point that you never enjoy where you're at. So I would tell myself that. Okay, Austin. That's, That's good. Yeah, I think uh, I would tell myself to 
be more independent and enjoy, you know, your youth with your friends instead of being in a relationship. Because I've, I've always been in a relationship, like, pretty much since, like, middle school. You know, it's crazy. So, like, the times that I was single, you know, some of the best moments of my life. You know, you not a care in the world. Um, you don't have to worry about anything but yourself and your family. And so that's what I, I that's what I'm saying. Wait, before you go, I want to ask also something. So you say you've been, you've been, um, so you're kind of like a serial dater. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> I will admit it. Yes. Did you, after like you broke up with your girls, did you like actively go and find a new girl or just kind of one of those things that just kind of like happened? Like you like, you just couldn't help it and just kind of happened. Cause there's some people that I've noticed yeah. that it does that, but then there are also some people who just actively go and seek that. Yeah. Yeah. Which of those buckets did you fall under? It was definitely just like at that time when I was like in college, turning 21 like you know after i broke up with you know for example like one of my exes like you're going out you're meeting new people like outside of your circle so like mm -hmm. things just so happen to kind of like fall in place um for me yeah like it, it just it just happened i never went to look for it but some those those memories like i really enjoyed with you know those particular people at that time but Obviously, that didn't work out. So and you know what that means, right? You just got it like that. If they just be keep coming, hey, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you partying for no, this? No, it's the only one that got that thing. Uh, Austin, Austin, Austin got that baby grape. <laughs> Austin got that riz, man. <laughs> Not no more, man. Not no you more. got. I don't know. If you going out four days a week, you bound to find something. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like fishing yeah. with dynamite. At that all of us, all of us were going out like three, four, five times a week, man. Like, yeah. that's crazy. From, from Wednesday to Sunday. Yeah. Oh yeah, I feel that. What about you? Oh, same question? Yeah, same question. I mean, I kind of wish I could tell myself, like, not to care so much about what people think about you. That's a really big thing, because I feel like in your 20s, like, you're more insecure about, like, what people, especially when you're just, you know, you're going out a lot, you're meeting a lot of different people and stuff like that. You kind of have to be uh, real with yourself and tell yourself, like, that stuff doesn't really matter. Like, at the end of the day, like, especially in our 30s now, like, that stuff doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just kind of a phase that you, you kind of play out in your head. Mm -hmm. But I think that at the end of the day, you know, the, the people that are real with you, like, are going to stick around. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what really matters. Big facts. I will I will say, though, that mentality is one of the things that I was scared of when I started this. I was on, like, what if I say something, that's some of all this, and, like, what they care. I was like, and then I was like, dude, why am I even worried about that? Because I don't give a shit what nobody thinks about what I you shouldn't, say anyway. Yeah, of course. Right? So that it made it easy. Now, it's just like... I don't care. Yeah. That was fluid. And it helps that you can edit too. So. And that helps too. That helps too. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. So, who about you? All right, Mo. Yeah. I, I would tell myself, like, younger me, I was like, yo, don't care too much what people think about you back then. Like, I've always wanted people to like me when I was younger and stuff like that. But now that I'm older, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck what y'all think about me now. You know what I mean? If you Amen. like me, you like me. You know what I mean? Amen. So when you was uh, so when you was dancing on the um, tables and flipping your hair, or your uh, shirt around, <laughs> sure. right? Was you uh, would you worry about what people were thinking about you? I mean, nah, not really. But you know, I just wanted to showcase myself to the ladies when I'm on on the table. I was like, you know, <laughs> like. Like y'all, clearly he did not. <laughs> clearly he did not. Care. I, was, I was trying to be the spotlight of that scene. You know what I mean? You like being the spotlight? Yeah, I did. I do. Yeah. You like my brother. My brother loves being the spotlight. I like being. Yeah, I, I can't help it. You like being the guy. Yeah, I can't help it. But like now, I realize like it happens if you're just yourself. Yeah. Like you know how you're talking about like oh I wanted people to like me, but it's like the more you try to act some play some way you're not, the more yeah. people probably will not like because people like you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. You can tell like yo you're like not being authentic. So like, if you're authentic, I feel like regardless of, you'll, you'll find your crowd of right. people that like you. So yeah. What about you, Jesse? What would you tell your Mr. Twenty Year Old Jesse? What would you tell him? Patience. Patience. I think yeah. patience is easy. It's, I think it's like just patience in general when it comes to like, you you alluded to it. You said that you want everything so early, right? That you, you want always look forward to what you want. Exactly. Yeah. I think that like patience is one of the things, and not ju just with like in relationships, friendships, all that stuff. Like if something happens to you that makes you like really mad. Mm -hmm. You can avoid that just by like just being patient. Don't react. Mm -hmm. It's something like if somebody like really messes with you. Somebody like breaks up with you. Just like instead of like lashing out, just like take a moment, take a step back, just be patient with yourself. Let yourself like digest it all, whatever, and then come back mm -hmm. and then like act appropriately. That way you don't like and also like just like friendships too. Just be patient sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like you don't gotta rush into things like that. It's just in just patience in general. Yeah. I can feel that, like with a real, especially with relationships. Some some dudes I know they be going on the first date. They're already talking about, yo, 
I'm gonna marry this girl <laughs> stuff like that. I'm like, yo, yes. guys, it's been like but a lot of people. But that's happened to a lot of people. I heard that they say that like, oh, after the first day, I say oh, I'm gonna marry this girl, and they ended up marrying that girl. I think guys think like that. Guys, I'm gonna say this. Guys are like dogs, man. We know. Like we see a girl, yo, that girl, she the one. I like, she cute. You go up to her, have one talk. I'm gonna take her on a date. You go to the yeah. date, I'm messing her. I might, I'm gonna introduce her to my my mom and like a couple. Like if this all works out, girls, they'd be like, I don't know. He didn't open the door open for me or something. I don't know. What, I don't know what girls think. I can't think in their head. So they're a lot. They move a lot slower. All right, for Chris and Mo, since y'all are married, let me ask y'all: At what point during the talking phase or dating phase did you like? In your mind, you knew you're like, oh, I'm gonna marry this girl. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear from Chris. Yeah, I want to hear you. He's trying to make Chris talk. Come on. I mean, <clears throat> to be yeah. fair, me and Connie went to Mexico after we knowing each other for two weeks. Mm -hmm. How did you? Pretty, even, how did you even, already? I think. How did you even spring that on? Like you just like, hey, you trying Let's to go to Mexico? Mexico? Me? <laughs> man, I was like, like living at our house almost basically when I first started <laughs> dating her. Like what? Yeah, like I was, I, I, mean, I was sleeping over like all the time, so. Mm. And we were hanging out a lot, so I was just like, "You want, you want to go somewhere?" Like, so it just oh. kind of happened. I don't know. So all three y'all motherfuckers be laying the wood. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> I feel like, nah. Chris, Chris was like, after after that, he's like, "Yeah, she'd won. She'd won." Nah, I don't know. She'd won. Was it after Mexico? No, no I mean, it wasn't after Mexico, Mexico, but you know, I think after, you know, I, I lived with her for a long time, and and it just felt like nor normal and natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that feeling, you know. And you fell in love. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Question: You did you guys did you two know that he was about to ask her to like go to Mexico after like two weeks? I didn't even know Chris like that until like uh, yeah, kind of recently. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, he, he told me he's like, yeah, I'm about to go to. I was like, for real? So yeah, what was I was about to ask? What was your reaction as his like his boy like when he told you like I've only been seeing this girl for like two weeks, but I'm gonna take her to Mexico? Like in your mind, what did you think? I was like, are you sure? I was like, you ready? I thought I was was crazy. Ready? Yeah, I thought he was crazy. I was like, damn, man, it's been only been two weeks. Why are you going to Mexico with this girl already? <laughs> but I mean, granted, I knew Connie before um, Chris met her. So, you know, oh. so I mean, I didn't think it was too crazy, but I also was like, damn, you you, go, you moving fast, my guy. <laughs> Did you think that this boy whipped? Yeah, I thought he was. Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, man. No, he was throwing, he was throwing that good wood, you know. Just putting that thing down. I know, right? Thing down. I feel like when you get older, too, uh, I see a lot of people like this, too. Like, when you're older, you kind of move a little bit faster. Yeah. Especially because when you're approaching, like, you know, I was approaching 30 already. I was already 27, I think, something like that. So. Man, you act yeah. like 20, 27. I, I just started, I just, like, got to start living my 20s when I was 27. Yeah. I think, I didn't mean, like, you asked my brother from, uh, just like you, I was a serial dater from, like, my early 20s, all in 27s. I was always in a relationship. And the moment I turned like I turned 27, I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with relationships. Because I'll say it was one of those things where it's like I felt it was unfair to women to basically jump into another relationship when I'm not over the last one. So I said, I will not get into another relationship with another woman until I don't have any emotional ties to any woman in the past. Because I think that's unfair. So, but then that happened six years later. Here I still am. So I was a serial dater too. And I think that it took me a while to realize that too. Like you need really need to recover after a relationship. You need like at least like a year to go around and go out with your boys and like do things mm -hmm. to kind of like, you know, settle your emotions and kind of get everything in like, check, you know? Like not to be cliche, like you have to love yourself before you love another person. Yeah, you yes. really have to. You 100%. really have to. Damn, y'all serial daters. I'm serial rejector. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it took me three weeks. And now I'm in a, another relationship. <laughs> and on the first day, I got so drunk I did what you did. And I was like, yo, I'm going to marry you. You know? Oh, what, yeah. What, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, you know, I mean, he first day. guys had them love God. Oh, you guys, yeah. guys, are like, guys are like dogs. We're like, yo, she got this, this, this. Girls are like, how does he make me feel like in a month? Like, girls are definitely months. a lot more cautious. Yeah, they're, they they take a lot more time. What about you, Mo? When did you know that you were going to marry your girl? I knew that I was going to marry Christine, like, after, she, you know, she accepted me for who I am. Like, you know, she didn't like, she knew my past and everything because we became friends first before, you know, we started dating and everything. Mm -hmm. So when I first met her, um, yeah, she thought I was a fuck boy. So she, she didn't want to do anything with me. And she had uh, Jason at the time, our oldest son. Mm -hmm. So she was like, you know, I don't, I don't really trust you. So I was like, oh, that's fine. You know, we just 
So we just became friends, and then I, I just start, started dating other people after, after I met her and whatnot. But, like, after a year or two of being friends, uh, we rekindle, and then she uh, pulled the trigger and, you know, started asking me to hang out more and, with me and whatnot. So, but I, I thought she was one where she kept me stable. Hmm. She kept me grounded. Actually, I have one question for all, all y'all in well, one thing I heard, actually Z said this, she said every, I guess, married couple or every couple that ends up married, they have like one massive fight over something. Of course. Like, did you guys both have the same thing? Yeah. Do you think that was what made or break? Like, hey, I'm going to marry this girl or this is not going to work out? That's what the fight is about. Did you have one yet or no? Everything's just like smooth sailing. I mean. Chris Big Wong, just, like, everything <laughs> is smooth sailing. I feel like everybody <laughs> fights like here and there, but yeah. like. Connie and you know, me and Connie don't really fight like that. Like I feel like a lot of my past relationships, I got in a lot of fights because I was like, you know, my younger self was like really immature. Like I was really insecure. Like I was doing stuff that I look back now and I'm like, that's really stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's, I don't know. But I feel like it's pretty normal to fight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I heard that that's dependent because I feel like there's some couples that say they, they they've never fought ever. Okay. And they're like happy and everything. I think that's a red flag. You think so? Yeah. Why do you think? Why do you think? Not fighting in a relationship is a red flag. Because I don't think you're really telling your true feelings to each other. Okay. You're just bottling everything up. You know what I mean? So you think that just will, down the line will end up like someone's going to resent the other person. Exactly. Uh. Like, you can't agree with everything your significant other does or say. You know what I mean? Of course. Mm -hmm. you got to always post your mind, too. Like, I think it depends on, the like, the, the seriousness of the fight. Like, you know, obviously... We have fights like every other couple, like, oh, uh, why aren't, why, why didn't you do this and that? And like, you know, pick this up or something, you know, it's small things like that. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's also depending on the person too, because there are certain type of people who are more, um, chill. Like, like there are, um, laissez faire. Exactly. More Handle. chill, more, uh, I, I hate to say it, but more like submissive. And they're like, they kind of just go with the flow and they're just okay with like letting their man like do whatever. And but as long as you're taken care of, that they don't fight. Cause like you think we have, I like I have a cousin like she like he has a wife and they never fought. I, yeah, you know what? It's yeah. He it's, told me that they've never fought before, and you, they got like four kids, and their kids are almost about to go to college. And okay, you know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's truly dependent on the person because it depends. Like I said, if if you're talking to about a woman who's more confrontational or a guy's more confrontational, yes, you go and fight. But if you have two people that aren't very, very confrontational who just like okay with like going with the flow, then it depends. You also have to really pick your battles in a relationship with fights. Like you can't really, <laughs> even if something annoys you, like you, you know, there's the right and wrong time to bring things up, you mm -hmm. know? That's kind of yeah, like it's a all key. about compromise. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's compromise. Who's got a compromise? Key. Who guys got to compromise more, the, the girl or the guy? That's a hard one, man. It depends on every relationship, right? Yeah, that's true. Happy spouse, happy house, you know? All right, so that's, <laughs> that's the, the first answer. time I heard that one. That's yeah, the first time. Yeah, that's all right, a good one. All right, that's the answer there. All right, Mo, next question. It's on you. Oh, just like we're talking about dating. Um, how many dating apps makes you look like too desperate to date and stuff like that? Oh, what the? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's really easy. That's, that's really uh, I will answer that. It's very easy. If you have more than one, maybe two. Honestly, two, because... Nah, two, two's a good number. Two's, a, two's okay, because I remember back in the day when I first moved to Nova. Right. And it was like, oh, I was like 22, 23, single. I'm like, yo, I don't know anyone up here. I think yeah. I was on every dating app. <laughs> I don't know. Was Hinge ba around back then? No. All right, it was like Tinder, Bumble. I think Coffee Me's Bagel was out there or something like that. And, yeah, yeah, you're right. And I think those are the main three. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then there was like East meets East, whatever. I wasn't on that. I wasn't <laughs> on that. Subtle Asian dating, I was on that. I was like looking around, seeing the, seeing the honeys and stuff like that. Right. I, yeah, I feel like, but now it's so much more. I think, it's, honestly, I think, I honestly think it's like a one or, t yeah, two max. If you have yeah, more than max. that, it's kind of, that means it's like a full-time job, bro. Yeah. yeah. You're swiping really for is. a career. Yeah. <laughs> you also have to talk to like full conversations with people or, like for different apps. It's a lot of work. Exactly. Exactly. Were you during the age of like dating apps? Yeah. yeah I, I, I met Connie through, through a dating app. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. I Coffee Meets Bagel. Did y'all get coffee or bagels? <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> Just lay that thing down. They, they got boba and chill. <laughs> I've, it's okay. I've met someone through Coffee Meets Bagel once. Yeah. It's, it's probably the more, like, serious app out of the, you know, Bumble and Tinder, probably. Now that I think about it, I think you're right. 
I'm on. I use only use two. I I, I think it's true. It's two more than two is yeah, too much. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Smart. More than two is makes you look desperate. Like it's very, and that makes you look like you can't find somebody. It doesn't mean something's wrong with you if you hadn't used all three. Like it's more than two dating apps. I've had people say that to me because like um they've been on dates where they ask you like how long you've been single. I said like almost like five six years, and they're like, "What's wrong with you? Why can't you find nobody in five six years?" And I'm like, "Then why is it gonna be something wrong with me?" Uh, but it is uh, if you know what it's probably something wrong with me and it's probably wrong with the women too. wait if they okay i don't want to say how long i've been they go if it's, is that bad they say five or six is like a red flag i think that um in most cases in uh, this is in general terms i think people think that like you should probably be in a relationship after maybe like a year or two okay like yeah. you like it's like for them it's like dude like why have you like i don't think there's a certain set number i think that like over five or like i say when i say six they're like Six years, like you didn't want to date nobody in six years, so it's like it's like a questionable red flag to them. Okay, that can also be like you okay. know what you want. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly why. But I've those been those are the same girls like oh you date too much, you know, or you like you don't date enough, you know. No, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. But then my my answer is always like it's I I have a very logical answer, and it's like I mean it's, it's facts. It's I mean it's literally what it is. I tell them that um there was a time I went I was in it was like many many years in my entire 20s like i said all until 27 i was in relationships and i felt that it was unfair to every single woman to jump into another relationship because like my relationship you asked my brother i remember like a like a month and i'll jump in another one and then that would end it was like a month and i'll jump into another one it was right. like drake that yeah shit went back to so back. Like, I, 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 <laughs> yeah so I, I told the girls i said hey it, it's nothing on them it's nothing it's just i wanted to make sure i didn't want my future girlfriend to think that i'm still invested in another woman right that and then it was like I know exactly what I want and yeah. then I'm not gonna settle for anything less than yeah, what exactly. I want. No, no, that's good. And then COVID hit too. Yeah. yeah you're right. So. <laughs> Damn, I've been in relationships for so long. I've never even used a dating app. Like I, I think I download when I was single for two weeks. I think I downloaded Tinder. And I went through the instructions. I was like, man, I'm deleting this shit. Man, he, this man like, really do gotta like that. I God no, 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 no. no, I just you know like nah. I just never had like I've seen people like. You know, pull it up, mm -hmm. and I would just like swipe for them, like just uh -huh. you know, rapid swipe. But that's about it, man. You the real god over here. You don't nah, even nah, need nah, dating sure. apps. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> but I will say though, if uh, if you have Tinder, that's a red flag, because Tinder. Yeah. I think Tinder. Like, I don't know exactly. I don't use it, but right. I think Tinder is used specific for hookups. Yeah, right? yeah, it's pretty much for hookups. Yeah, right. Yeah. Would you say like, wait, have you guys all used Tinder before or no? I have, yeah. Yeah. Have you? Let me ask you. Did y'all basically stop using it once? Like, yeah, like I don't know. 23 24 like i i used it in college and when i was fresh out of college for like a year and then i never but i never really used it that much mm -hmm. now it's same I, I only used it for like a month and then i deleted it. i was like no nah, i don't like this yeah shit. i don't like it's it kind of trash. I, yeah, yeah. I used it for a couple months and i was like this is stupid this, yeah. yeah yeah i know people in college use it a lot i have i still have some friends in um who's still in college because i'm greek and so i got some like like people like youngins and they tell me they use it and it, mm. they go crazy in college I'm because sure though. I mean, you got <laughs> yeah. a bunch of like young, they don't. horny college kids, man. Yeah, yeah, they say go crazy, you know. Yeah. So, and it's like college town, and people are probably ain't there really to like date. Yeah. And so they just, you know. Dang man, I, we, we we was not that freaky in college. At least I was not that freaky in college. <laughs> My freaky did not happen till after college. You're a late bloomer. Oh um, yeah. You know, like Austin here's an early bloomer. Yeah, this man was. He ran out the gates and was like. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He put the light skin face on. I was like, it was good. Bro, I, I, I peaked too soon, man. <laughs> I peaked too soon. No, nah, man, it's okay. Guys peak like this, man. It's like flat lines up top. Oh, man. Those were the days. College was fun, man. Yeah, college, college was fun. fun. All right, next question. Imagine a world, a scenario where both, where all three of y'all are single, mm -hmm. okay? If you wanted to choose a woman, would you prefer a natural looking woman? Or a woman who got a lot of work done. I like natural beauty. You know what I mean? Natural beauty. Yeah, I'm not big into like, you know, all that BBL or body augmentation. Okay. Like. You uh, mean like face work or like body work? Like <laughs> we're talking about all of it. See, like everything. So then maybe she got. We'll, we'll say, you're single. This girl comes here. She got like a nose job. She got her eyelids done. You like Asian girls? And you'll tell when she has when you have kids with her. You, you only like <laughs> you, you're right. That's all you talk. You are you only like Asian girls, right? Before you only go for Asian girls, right, Chris? Yeah. All right. She got the monolid uh, surgery. She got her nose done. Maybe some. She got some titties. You know. 
Nah, there was a there was a story about this girl who did all that surgery, and then when dude had a, had kids with her, looked nothing like <laughs> no, look, nothing like them. They're like catfish. He and sued then, her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, remember I remember that. that. <laughs> it was a Chinese guy. That's yeah. the only reason why. Yeah. It's always a Chinese. It's a Chinese guy. <laughs> My mom and dad were like, "Hey, that's why. Be careful. It, be careful. Be like, your own like, kind sometimes." Right? Yeah. I so, like natural. I personally like yeah. natural, but I will say. If you do any kind of work and it, you can make it look natural, I'm okay with that. You okay. know what I mean? Like, but for me, natural has been the biggest thing before. Like, because now Botox is big, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Injections is huge. Mm-hmm. Um, you can literally get injections for anything. And I'm okay with it as long as it looks somewhat natural, but preferred it'd be natural. I think I'm the same way too, honestly. Like, as long as you can make it look, you know, okay. normal, then it's fine. Yeah. fine. I think natural beauty in the face, yeah, body, yeah, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. Because I I think it's the kids thing, right? I don't want my kids to pop out and be like, yo, like, what, why, does, why does my kid look like this? Like, like, I don't but I feel like that would be so extreme. Yeah, like, you extreme. would have to do the most work for your kid yeah. to look completely Yeah, different. yeah. But I, I, I feel you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would say natural beauty is better. I mean, and then natural beauty is better because then as they age, if they want to get some work done, yeah, go ahead. It doesn't okay. matter. Yeah, okay. Like, if your significant other is like, hey, honey, what would you think if I got a like a boob job or like a BBL? What would y'all think or say? If we got the funds for it, yeah, go ahead. If it makes it makes you feel confident or if it makes a woman feel like, yeah, I, I'm confident in myself and they feel stronger or more empowered throughout the day, be like, hey, I got a boob job or whatever. If they feel like, oh, yeah, I can go out, I feel confident. You know, they, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe they go to work, they feel better. Maybe right. they feel... They go to the gym. They feel every everyday life. They feel better. Yeah, screw it. Like you can't put a price on your mental health. Yeah, yeah. I'm natural right. too. I'm natural too. But okay, here's another scenario. All right, one girl. Okay, say say there's 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 two girls. They look exactly the same. So they're both dimes. Okay, but one of them only looks like that because they wear a lot of makeup. The other one looks like that with minimal makeup. Right. Night and day. All right, <laughs> yeah, all right, okay, okay. Well, how about this? How about this? Let me think about it. one girl. She is a nine. Okay, mm-hmm. takes the makeup off. She looks. Fi- she's a five, average as hell. Other girl. She's not a nine, but she's an eight. But she's a. But she's like a little bit lower. But she's naturally more beautiful. Like when the makeup comes off, she's like a six or seven. Okay. Which one are you yeah, choosing? Why do I feel like you got people in mind when you're talking about yeah. this? <laughs> You got people in mind, bro. Got, like you, it sounds like, like you do. You got people in mind. You're like, yeah. that could be this girl or yeah. this girl. See, you, you got, got, got people, people in mind. I didn't say anything. You're projecting, bro. You're projecting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Drop the name, Chris. <laughs> yeah, who you thinking about? I feel like that's what you're all thinking about. <laughs> no. Nah, well, I got no one in mind. You're the one who brought it up. You're the one who brought it up, so I'm just saying. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. I got nothing, man. You got to go with an eight. Yeah, go with the eight. The natural, the natural. Because oh, yeah, heck yeah, you know I've heard stories where like you know friends would bring a girl home, right, and they'd be like, oh, she was a dime, like at the bar, and then they would sleep together, and then you know when she leaves, you know he got them white sheets on, and it looked like uh, you know she slammed her face on the pillow, <laughs> like that's not much makeup. And look, nothing yeah. against women that do makeup, you know it's all love, like. I encourage it, but you know there are some I feel like kind of tend to overdo it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you don't, you know, shout out to women, man. Like you don't gotta put on that much, but yeah, I, I've heard stories of where like literally you can see the face on the pillow. Damn. So yeah, I like I'd go more natural. Okay. Thoughts, yeah, Mo? Not, not natural is the way to go, man. I'm I'm a, I'm a purist, you know what I mean. Next scenario, okay. I actually got this from TikTok, okay. Okay. Uh, we actually debated this in one of our group chats a long time ago. Okay, one to ten, there's two girls, right? So yeah, on a scale to one to ten, there's two girls. You get to smash two girls. Okay, one could be an eight, one could be a two, or one could be a five, another one be a five. Oh, you remember this one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know. My do you guys answer. understand the scenario? Just repeat it one more time. Okay. So in this scenario, there are two women. Right. Okay. On a scale to one to ten, mm-hmm. each girl can fall between those. But both of them have to add up to no more than ten. Oh. oh. Um, okay. Yeah. So what's what's your combination looking like? Damn. Shit, probably like, like a <laughs> probably like a three and a seven. Okay. 
<laughs> Look at both chains. Oh, man. Like, man, 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 you loud, man. <laughs> hey, you high yeah, high? man. Five, five. Probably, man. What, what do you consider five? five though? I mean, that's. I mean, it, that's uh, right, you you a. You want a good time or a long time? time. <laughs> you can choose nine, one. Nine, one? That's even worse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that would be absolutely terrible. That would be great. <laughs> I think it depends on the night I'm having, to be honest. Either if I'm drinking or not, you know what I mean? So you are like, drinking. You on Hennessy. Like, you know, like, when you when I drink, they go up in numbers like two to three. So it's like, they're both five, you know? They're both seven and eight. We talk about, okay, without, like, alcohol filter, oh, like, yeah, in real yeah. life. Like, group consensus. Group, one, group, one, consensus, one, group one, consensus. They are, like, they are a, a, a five. Yeah, five, five was straight for me, man. Five, five was straight for yeah. you? yeah. Sometimes, you know, you're in a drought and you just like, you know, sometimes that three be looking like a, a five or a seven that, but then, you know, you have uh pre cum like realization. Like, damn. <laughs> I'm going to go six, four, man. Six and four. Six, four. Yeah, that's, I think that's a good balance. You know, everyone got to eat. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's hey. a weird question. <laughs> I don't know, man. Six, All right, think about, about six, four, four for a second. It's, it's like, like one's mediocre, mediocre and one's like terrible, terrible right? right? Six is above average. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you're asking for anything more than a six, you're just greedy at that point. Yeah. yeah. You are greedy. Especially yeah. if you're going, let's say you go to. You said 91. 91? I, I mean. You are a greedy motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but I, have, I have a question. Do you have to get with both? Yes. Oh, dang. What, what would you pick, pick Jay? Probably six four. Because nine six, one, four. I would do nine one if I didn't have to touch the one. I think eight two is fair, then. You know, two, dude. One will be great, one will be terrible. terrible. Think about it. Even a six is above average, yo. So I, I think a six four. Like, like six, people, four. like think about it. Like I think that, like when you're thinking seven, seven is like really up there, right? Yeah. Six is still above average, yo. Mm -hmm. Like think about it. Like, I know how great a nine would be. I like, think about it. Think about it this way. If you have a hundred women, if a hundred women, fifty of them are fives. That's true. I'm I don't think of it like that, that though. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I got to, it's average. So, so a six, that's like literally like you better know, than over fifty, over sixty of the yeah. women. I'm gonna just say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. Think of think of all the women you've been with. Some of them are really good. Some are really bad. Yeah. Or, or like this. Some of them look really good. Some of them look really bad. Yeah. Does their appearance always correlate with how good they are in bed? No. 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 <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Our three stooges over here. <laughs> hey, they, they gotta come back. They gotta come hey, back. Y'all was really tight. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, y'all yeah, was, was really back. tight. Yeah. We'll, we'll set it up. Hope you guys enjoyed them. All right. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. We'll bring these three stooges back. Peace. Peace. Peace.